children welcome to today's chemistry class so hope you are all doing well and you are all reading your textbook thoroughly and you are completing your notes properly and you are up to date to today's portion is it so read your textbook thoroughly apart from the notes i give you should be thorough with each and every point in your notebook okay read your textbook as much as time as you can okay read it at least two to three times and be thorough with whatever things are given in your ncert Okay, so now we will move to a new topic that is we have learned uh, uh, what all things we have learned in this chapter. We have learned a uh, law of conservation of mass, law of constant proportion and in the last class we have learned what is atom and also we have uh, learned about symbols of atoms. Okay, symbols of some elements uh, we have learned in the last class. So I hope you are all thorough with the symbols. Uh, which I have asked you to uh, note down it in your notebook. So hope you have uh, written it in your notebook. So be thorough with that because it is useful for you till uh, you complete your 12th standard and also if you are moving forward uh, anyway, you will be planning to move into that uh, science stream. So it will be useful for you. So be thorough with this. It is very important uh, for your uh, academics. Okay. So now we will move to next topic which is atomic mass. Atomic mass. So here, so uh, for atomic mass, before moving to the topic, I'll ask you. Now, when we are moving, going to a market or when we are going to a vegetable shop, uh, so if I ask, if your mother is asking you to buy one kg of onion, so one kg of onion. Now, what will you do? Many supermarkets or in normal shop, what it will be there? There will be a uh, plastic cover. You can take onions. That is, assume that this is one kg. You will assume that you will take a tomato and an onion. There will be a digital weighing machine. Yes, it will be a digital weighing machine. You will keep the packet containing the onion in this and there in that digital weighing machine. So if it is uh, 50 gram on a continent, you should add in 50 gram 1 kg of number of balance in the one kg came in on a continent number of the search of the month. Is it so nowadays digital weight vision is there? But when you move to older days, that is uh, six or seven years back, you can see uh, you cannot see a digital weight vision, instead, you can see a weight machine to like this. Is it like this? You can see uh, a weighing machine. So I will try to draw like this. Or you the side la. I mean, I have a weighing machine. That is digital, alla. But what you have to do in this case, or you need to take one render, or you pass it to all the render. It will come. That is why. Now, when I is what the shopkeeper and that thing, that in this side you will take. Onions and keep 1 kg and assume jail. E side number 1 kg and where it is 1 kg in a weight number weight number weight 1 kg on the 2 kg 50 gram and a standardized weight on a weight number weight. In the letter, the country diet to be pump. You all have gone uh, through this, is it? You may might have seen it two or three bags ago in many uh, supermarkets or what you can say normal shops. So, 1 kg you will get. So, if you have a chicken, tomato, one kg you will get. You will get the principle of the area. You will get the weight of the side. You will get the weight of the side. You will get the weight of the side. Tomato, one kg. So, you can keep. That is, the tomato of the side. You will get the weight of the side. The tomato of the side. You will get the weight of the side. That is, the tomato. So that is the principle of weighing machine uh, that is which was used nowadays in the Indian Sanam on the Kana region to digitalize them. So this thing you are uh, aware, of, uh, aware of, you are aware of this e principle in the current. What is the principle which is used in the end of the principle that you see that we are comparing or they are relating or that then that are relating. Now we have another one kg and that we are relating in the number one kg is standardized one kg and one kg. We keep a standardized weight and we compare it. Compare it and uh, look whether it is balanced. That is, we are comparing. That is, we are taking relative mass. Relative means we are comparing it. We are relating it to a mass. We render mass under that one kg of uh, one kg of standardized weight under. We are taking one kg of the thing which we are needed and we are comparing it or we are relating it. Yes, it. 
same principle that is e you know relate you know the weighing machine the same principle number elements in the uh, mass of the atom in the mass kind of future that we are comparing it out with the uh, relative mass which is the number of principle you see the same principles are follows in the number uh, you know atomic mass no kind of no so what elements you know that elements that is it is made up of atoms it is made up of same atoms elements are made up of same atoms so you know that is it so elements in the case are yeah, it is made up of same atom when you take off hydrogen it is made up of hydrogen element or kind of hydrogen atom sodium element it is made up of sodium atom hope that is clear for you so that number e or principle that even i use the principle number relative mass and compare e to e or principle number follow it then we add in the mass kandupidikkan alle add in the mass our principle the weights la nam cheyan pogum so relative mass which i am saying that relative mass which we compare edittu nam or element edukana a element the mass that is when you take hydrogen hydrogen element edukana it is made up of hydrogen is made up of hydrogen atom is it hydrogen is made up of hydrogen atom and when you uh, take that is one atom of hydrogen i got the one atom of hydrogen or in the in a mass no quantity it is equal to 1.67 into 10 raised to minus 24 gram 1.67 into 10 raised to minus 24 gram on a number hydrogen atom the one atom of hydrogen the mass no quantity 1.67 to 10 to minus 24 gram. So, नमले इधर वेच रिलेट ये दी और हाइड्रोजन आटम का मास नमले नमले ये और केस जो वन केज वेच का रिलेट ये ना बोले इत्रो और जो हाइड्रोजन आटम का मास है इधर नमले आधा स्टैंडलाइज्ड इधर तो वेच इधर आधा वेच जो बाकी वाले एलिमेंट्स इन्हें वेच डाय एलिमेंट्स इन्हें आटम का मास हाइड्रोजन then we used oxygen atom that is scientists to oxygen atom in the mass which to compare it okay that was also not possible there were many mistakes when we compare with oxygen atom then sodium atom also was used there were also many difficulties so many discussions were going on we should take one element one element as standardized element or reference element as we do in the case of this vegetable being or a uh, grocery weighing machine we take a standard weight one kg is a standard weight or two kg is standard weight five kg is standard weight so like that we have to compare it with something we have to compare it with one element so many discussions were going around around chemistry which element should we should be choose they failed in choosing hydrogen atom they failed in choosing sodium atom they failed in choosing oxygen atom then our british chemist which we have discussed who was a british chemist uh, who proposed the theory which we have discussed six postulates discussed in the john dalton so the same british chemist john dalton he has determined uh, that relative mass is used relative mass in usia matu that is we have we have we can compare it with relative mass can be used to determine the mass of the atoms and we can compare it with the standardized element or reference element what is standardized element that is which element a nano element you see in that element is called as standardized element or reference element standardized element or reference element what is standardized element or reference element in order to determine the mass in order to determine the mass of atom a element which is kept as a reference and not a standardized element reference element in one another that is mass of one atom it can be compared to uh, one element or hydrogen a uh, one element or uh, a standardized element you see okay so uh, after many discussions sodium uh, hydrogen oxygen adella fail in the session no john dalton itself has came to a conclusion that carbon can be used as a reference element or uh, standardized element. carbon as you know carbon has got three isotopes what is isotopes that is that is elements having same atomic uh, number they are having same atomic number but mass is different that is carbon is having three isotopes 
isotope. That is, what are the three isotopes of carbon? Hope you have learned this before. Uh, isotopes of carbon. That is, C12, C13, and C14 are the isotopes of carbon. C12, C13, C14 are the isotopes of carbon. So, from this, C12 is taken. C12, C13, C14 are the isotopes of the C12 was taken as reference element or standardized element in order to determine the mass of the atom. Why C12 was taken? Because there were many reasons. C12 or carbon element in the C12 it is not that much reactive. Less reactive, uh, auto reactive or less or extended other reaction are more but highly reactive or more but less reactive for example sodium and the other kind of reaction are more simple sodium and the other reaction either way to the other so other than that the sodium and the other way and carbon is abundantly available in the terms of quantity it's not quite a little initial abundantly available I don't like it carbon or in the C12 carbon isotope C12 okay so why C12 is chosen as that it is most abundantly available and it is not highly reactive and not less reactive. Our conditions which is C12 uh, isotope of carbon was used as the standardized element or reference element in order to determine the uh, mass. Okay, mass of atom. So, uh, in order to determine that what was chosen? Carbon C12. C12 isotopes of carbon was chosen. Okay, so hope this much is clear. What is standardized element or relative mass? I have shown this is the same, this principle that is comparing the mass, relative mass, comparing it with the relative mass of something, we are uh, choosing. John Dalton has proposed this, we can determine the mass of an atom by comparing it with a relative mass of standardized element or a reference element and C12, uh, carbon was chosen as the element, standardized element or the reference element and C12 isotope of carbon was chosen. Okay, hope this much is clear for you. Now we will move forward. So again, I am taking you to a shop, uh, shopkeeper and uh, assume that you are going to a supermarket and there uh, we are using uh, the older machine. Now we are using the digital machine. We are using the older weighing balance which is the machine you see the picture. So here, I am drawing that once again. So, same like that. Okay. So, uh, for example, uh, you are going to a shop and asking, I want a to the shopkeeper, I want 1 kg of apple. And the shopkeeper is saying, yes, 1 kg of apple costs 100 rupees. So, you are asking, no, I don't need 1 kg, I need only 1 apple. So, so the shopkeeper is saying, 1 kg costs 100 rupees. So, you are saying, I don't need 1 kg, I need only 1 apple. So the shopkeeper will be confused with what uh, one apple, what is the cost of one apple. So we are going to find what is the cost of one apple here. So here she is using the order weighing machine. Okay. This balance to find weight balance to find uh, what may be the uh, weight of one apple. Okay. So here in this one apple, you are taking one apple and keeping it here. And here reference I come to use and one apple weight at run or it one apple and maybe so for that you will standardize the reference element. So for that what you are doing is you are taking a watermelon. So okay, you are taking a big watermelon and keeping it here. You are taking a watermelon and keeping it here. So what happens? The needle will absolutely the needle will move to the side because the weight of the uh, watermelon is more. It is not equal to one apple. So then you are doing you are cutting the we uh, watermelon into two pieces and you are keeping the one piece one hour uh, one piece watermelon the one piece number it for the side like okay assume like that you are keeping it here one piece same when you again uh, do what happens the needle is i don't know another because one apple and half uh, watermelon the piece and same like it okay then what you are doing is you are cutting the watermelon again into four half and you are keeping the one by four portion here Again, what happens? The needle will move to the side. Uh, that means uh, weight of the watermelon is not equal to weight of one apple. Then what you are doing is you are cutting the watermelon into twelve equal parts. Okay, twelve. You are cutting it into twelve equal parts, and you are keeping the one by twelve portion of the watermelon here. And now you can see the needle will be in the middle position. It will be in the balance. So from this, what it is clear: weight of one apple is equal to one by twelve the weight of a watermelon. Is it? What happened? The weight is one by twelve. That means that twelve pieces 
is it 1 into one by 12 part of mass of 1 carbon 12 atom. Means like that, we have to add or add or atomic mass unit to one by 12 part of mass of 1 carbon 12 atom. Carbon 12 part of atom is 1 by 12 part. See, if you have water melon case, remember to say that water melon case is like that. We have to add or 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 add. The hour happened in the age of 1 by 12 of mass of watermelon. One watermelon is mass of 60 grams of acid. One by 12 is the portion of 1 by 12. One by 12 is the portion of 1 by 12. One by 12 is the portion of 1 by 12. See, like that. One by 12 is the portion of 1 by 12. One by 12 is the portion of 1 by 12. One by 12 is the portion of 1 by 12. One by 12 is the portion of 1 by 12. But remember the principle, this is the principle. Now, if you want to say 1 AU is 1 by 12 power mass of carbon 12, 1 carbon 12 atom, now we will go to the case of 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 the we are taking for determining the atomic mass. Okay, so why carbon 12 was taken because it is not that much highly reactive or less reactive, or that, and it is evidently available. Okay, so the rest of all elements, hydrogen, it becomes a fraction, one more oxygen, it is not possible, sodium, which was highly reactive. So, John Dalton has concluded that carbon uh, from carbon, carbon 12 isotope can be taken as the standardized element. And from that, atomic mass unit AMU is the atomic mass in express in the unit AMU, atomic mass unit. Later, International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry has determined unit is the uh, uh, unit U or unified, unified element in the world. Unit is the unit in the world. Unit is the unit in the world. Accept it. Okay. So, this much is clear for you. Okay children, I am concluding what is atomic mass. So what was atomic mass? That is when you want to compare, that is it was found to compare the mass of atom of different elements with some reference element. When you want to find out the mass of one atom, it is better to compare it with the reference element and carbon 12 isotope was taken as the reference element and one atomic mass unit. What is AMU? It is atomic mass unit. Atomic mass unit now it is uh, unit, that is what is atomic mass unit? It is a unit to express atomic mass. Atomic mass express in the unit. Term. Same like that when you want to measure vegetables, it is expressed either in kilogram or gram. Same like that, a unit to express atomic mass is atomic mass unit and now it is U. It is atomic mass unit is expressed in U. Then 1 AMU is 1 by 12 the mass of carbon 12 isotope. It is 1 atom of carbon 12 isotopes. That is 1 by 12 the mass of 1 carbon 12 isotope is 1 atomic mass unit. That is when you want to take, when you want to find out the uh, atomic mass, you have to express it in atomic mass unit. And when you want to find out the atomic mass of an atom of element, that is it is same as 1 by 12 the mass of carbon 12 atom, uh, 1 atom of carbon 12 isotope. Okay, for example, when you want to take magnesium, that is, it is atomic mass is 25 units. What does this mean, magnesium? It is 25 U. It means the magnesium, which is an element, 1 atom, 1 atom of magnesium is 1 atom, mass of 1 atom of magnesium, 1 atom of magnesium, that is, it is 24 times greater than the 1 by 12 mass of 1 atom of carbon 12 isotope. 1 atom of carbon 12 isotope in a 1 by 12 portion is 24 times it is greater. 
centimeter. What magnesium in the atomic mass? Our mass Okay. So hope that connection is clear when uh, uh, compare it with uh, watermelon and apple case. One apple. What is the weight or mass of one apple? It is equal to one by twelve the portion of the whole watermelon. Same like that here it is. Magnesium the atomic mass is 24 units in the panda in the magnesium in the mass atomic mass no it is just a carbon 12 isotope in the oil atom in the 1 by 12 portion in the 24 times greater. Okay, so compare it like that inside carbon 12 atom the oil atom in the carbon 12 isotope in the oil atom in the 1 by 12 portion in the 24 times greater on a magnesium in the oil atom in the mass no right. Okay, so this is how the whole story is clear for you. It was a big story, but at the end, uh, I hope you have understood what is atomic mass, why we are comparing it with the relative element, or why we are comparing it to the standardized element. Okay, okay so this is the uh, definition for relative atomic mass. Why it is called relative atomic mass? Because we are comparing it with the standardized element. Relative atomic mass of an element is defined as the average mass of the atom. For example, when we are taking, for example, when we are taking calcium, calcium element we require it. Our calcium element is the average uh, relative atomic mass of our element is defined as the average mass of the atom. Calcium element is the calcium atom is the average mass. Then we are as compared to we are comparing it to one by twelve mass of one carbon twelve. Carbon 12 atom in a 1 by 12 mass and compare it on a number or element in a relative atomic mass. So, relative atomic mass of an element is defined as average mass of the atom. So, elements they are made up of same number of atoms, same type of atoms as compared to the 1 by 12 mass of 1 carbon 12 atom. Okay, so hope that is clear for you. Watermelon the Gari Marakana the Otrija or the 12 parts and a divide in a Gari you can give a conclusion. So, in your textbook, a small column is given there. Elements in the value of atomic mass. Atomic mass, bracket U, so U is now accepted. Unit no atomic mass is unit no U. Okay. So, what is U? Unified mass. Okay. So, here the hydrogen, uh, the atomic mass no is 1. So, when you compare 1 by 12 mass of carbon, 12 atom, and compare it with hydrogen the mass no is 1. One. Then carbon it is 12, nitrogen it is 14, oxygen it is 16, then sodium it is 23, magnesium it is 24, sulfur 32, chlorine it is 35.5, calcium it is 40. Okay, so from this you at least try to remember the atomic mass of these elements which is given in your textbook. So remember what is relative atomic mass, what is the definition? That is 1 by 12 the mass of carbon. 12 1 atom of carbon 12 okay hope this much is clear for you now we we'll meet in the next class with a new topic so be thorough read your textbook properly our portion atomic mass or in a portion with their demands and study the concept what is given there i mean i am going to one by 12 the one of them and carbon 12 i go to choose you keep it in mind okay so we'll meet in the next class thank you so much